Welcome back to the Stroh Center. Bowling Green up by 10. I'd like to congratulate my partner. Take a look at that. Jackie was inducted in the Gannon's Hall of Fame last night. Four-year starter for Gannon. She's their all-time leader in three-point field goals with 299 and steals with 345. Nice face. She ranks second all-time in assists with 647 and sixth in points, 1,524, averaging 13.6 points per game. Per game. game. Four-time All-Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference selection, landing a spot on the first team in 2000 and 2001. Congratulations, Jack. I know, just a great career, and I know you had a lot of fun last night. It was nice to go back, huh? Certainly did. We, we had a great night. About six or seven teammates showed up and had my family there. It was just a, a tremendous day, so thank you. I appreciate that very much. Well, we're glad to have you on our team, for sure. We'll give you the ball whenever. And Tavlin James, she'll take the ball and shoot it, just like Jackie would back in the day from beyond the arc. Back to action. Three minutes left here in the opening half. Ten-point lead for Bowling Green, who've been dominated on the boards by Eastern. A plus 10 for Eastern on the boards, but a plus 10 on the scoreboard. Make it plus 12 after the Alexis Rogers two. You know, we talked to Kurt, a lot, Kurt Miller a while back as we started conference play and said, really trying to figure out how to use her. And she was still trying to find her niche and fit, fitting into the Bowling Green system. But Alexis Rogers has just been nothing shy of phenomenal throughout that play. Stefan off the steal and the miss. Knocked out of bounds, BG basketball. As Taylor Bird will check in for Eastern. Amber Bogard will sit down for the Eagles. 14 points for Alexis Rogers. Does a great job of reading the defense. Sets her up by going left, spin move, finish right. That was a big time play. Foul underneath. The three ball has been falling all afternoon for BG, shooting better than 65% until that shot right there. But Eastern has been just tough on the boards, but not able to convert all of those rebounds into points. Yeah, 12 offensive rebounds so far, but outscoring Bowling Green 10 to two. So able to keep it close by working hard on the glass, but they've got to get some things figured out in terms of defensive end of the floor because Bowling Green is just shooting the ball too well right now and, and getting too, too easy of looks for what Eastern Michigan is known for in terms of their defense, defensive pressure, hands active. And Paige Reddit with the miss off the one and one. Jess Lego has the basketball for Bowling Green. This is Stefan trying to get around in traffic, and she got it up and was fouled. The drive by Chrissy Stefan. Yeah, she came off the screen and Watkins decided to go over the screen there, and Stefan takes advantage and turns the corner. Did a nice job of finding a seam and unable to finish for the three-point play, but has a chance at two, two free throws. 68% free throw shooter. She knocks down the first one preseason. All Mac, the number six scorer in the league currently. Six foot junior out of Carmel, Indiana. She's here on both. And it's nice to see her find a little bit of a rhythm. And I think a, a young lady that probably put a lot of pressure on herself knowing the shoes she was going to be expected to fill with Pro Haskin and Pontius graduating. And I think settling into the fact of knowing she's got support around her with the play that you know Rogers has brought and Slagle and not having to do it all. James turns the ball over with under two minutes left to go. Nobody happier than Kurt Miller on that call. <laughs> I don't know if we got a glimpse of his reaction, but uh, Slagle, a little hesitation move of her own, and Thomas with, with the bump. Been a little bit of a battle between Thomas and Slagle this afternoon. That one goes to Slagle, and she'll go to the line. The senior from Sydney, Ohio. Battles it in and out. A big rebound by Jill Stein. Stein keeps it alive, then turns it over. Watkins two on two with James. Watkins pulls up, can't get it to go. Jess Slagle comes down with a rebound for BG. Kurt Miller wants her to slow it up. Minute 40 and counting. 14 point lead for the Falcons in this MAC Championship rematch here this afternoon. Inside, Rogers wide open with a left hand. Yeah, great job of reading the defense there by Slagle. And without hesitation, 
Threw the dump pass in and Rogers able to deliver. 8-0 run for BG over the last three minutes and eight seconds and the lead has ballooned to 16, but that was a great play as we take another look. Yeah, Stefan comes off the screen and reverses the ball back to the ball side and just no help side defense anywhere to be found and an easy collect, gather and finish for Alexis Rogers. Rogers. Off to a great start, 16 points, seven to 10 from the field. And what a player she's become. You mentioned Kurt Miller talked to us about how to use her throughout the year because he didn't even know. You should take a look at Kurt Miller's day. This may wear you out just watching <laughs> Kurt Miller, but he talked about he needed to get, kind of become a better coach when it comes to Alexis Rogers, meaning that he has to find what way she fits best in this team because she does so many things well. That, that's just it, she does so many things. She's She's got great hands and can face up. We've saw, we saw her knock one down from three point range and that's a good shot for her. She's got that type of range. Could probably play a, a three guard off position, you know, at a higher level, which is what she wanted to do right out of high school, but uh, found her niche coming back here and has, a, has good size to her, good physical presence and really just doing a nice job of taking what the defense gives her in terms of being able to face up as well as play with her back to the basket. Three on the shot clock too. James has to raise and fire. And Jess Lego comes down with a rebound. Under a minute left to go here, opening half. BG has led from the start. Eastern tied it up at five early in the game. And Slagle goes around Reddit with a right hand. I tell you what, we have seen more hesitation moves with tremendous finishes today than we have so far this season. Great change of pace by Jess Slagle. Largest lead of the afternoon, 18 points for BG. Eight second difference, shot clock in the game clock. Nice runner by Desiree Thomas. Last shot will go to the Falcons as Slagle sets it up. You see the game clock running down. Yoder bothered by James. Six seconds left. Lexus Rogers to inbound. Slagle trying to get it off in time. She does. And it rings in and out. Good first half of basketball by the Falcons as they have a 16 point lead here heading into the break, Jack. Yeah, just shooting the ball too well right now is Bowling Green and playing right into the hands with what Eastern Michigan doesn't or isn't able to do, and that's get out in transition. So. Of course, one of the big keys has been the play. Of Alexis Rogers halftime here at the Stroh Center. The Falcons with a big first half lead the Eagles by 16. 